Hello, and welcome back to another episode. I am finding myself out here today. This is where our blue flower farm is, if you will remember. And I think what I want to do here is to build a couple of farms around animals. Primarily a wool farm, so that I can have some, uh, some wool for the walls in the nether and also for a larger project that we're going to work on later i don't know if it'll be this episode or next episode i think it'll be this episode yeah and uh that's actually a little bit of a um maybe foreshadowing is the right word but we're gonna build a a bee farm sometime soon probably this episode the other thing i want to do is uh actually with the bees uh, I think I want to do like a little enclosure. Maybe we'll go uh, free cam here. Whoop. There we are. I think I want to do a little en enclosure probably up on this hill right here for bees. Um, I want to build a honey farm that is quite large. And in order to do that, it's going to be best if I have... Um, Let's just say, uh, do a little mechanic tricks with some, some beehives. And we're, I think this little, uh, hill here is going to be a good spot for, for doing that. But I think I want to start with that sheep farm that we talked about. That way, uh, we can let the, the sheep farm run while we deal with some bees on the side. So I have... A bunch of trees to chop down. I think I'm going to clear pretty much all of these trees and start working on the sheep farm. So, why don't I happen to run into a time lapse and I will see you guys on the other side.
Hey, finally have all of the sheep in now. I think it turned out fairly well. I do at some point want to have some sort of path that kind of connects up all of our separate areas around here, but I think this is all right for now. So we have two of every color of sheep, and obviously they're being uh, sheared, so we can't actually see the color on the, sh on the sheep themselves. But if we hop underground here, I, I think I like the way that this rent tanning wall turned out. So, yeah. Under here, we should be able to see that all of these have at least a little bit of wool in them. So yeah, here is our wool farm. And we will need a fair amount of blue wool still for the nether tunnels. And our, well, not our immediate next project, but a project upcoming will need a lot of yellow wool. So I will be hopefully getting a whole bunch of that. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm kind of thinking of turning this area into kind of a giant wheat field around here. So we might do that next. Otherwise, we will start working on a bee area up on the hill over there. I have made the decision to start working on the bee area over here on this hill over here. Reason being is we will be spending a lot of time breeding up bees inside of um, inside of this area that we're going to build. And I'll be able to use the time in between, you know, the, the breeding cooldown time to build the nice little wheat farm over here. And I think, I think I'm starting to come up with a, a pretty cool idea for like paths and whatnot. And I think this will turn out to be an actual pretty cool area versus just being purely aesthetic. I mean, it will be pretty much purely aesthetics because I'm not going to spend the time gathering a whole bunch of wheat in the open field like this. But uh, yeah, it'll be nice to have a nice cool little area out here. I think it'll also just tie in the area a lot too. So without further rambling, I think I will just start working on a bee area. Um, what I'm going to be building here is essentially half of what I'm envisioning the full B area in this area to be and I just want it to be a spot where we can go and breed up a whole bunch of bees and get bees inside of bee hives so let me get going with it like much at the moment but I think once we add on kind of the top section of it and add in another bee farm up there 
Um, I haven't des designed the, the bee farm that goes on top of this section, which is why I didn't finish the entire thing. But I think it'll look a lot better when, once that's done. But if we can come in here, we basically just have a giant room. Now, why do we have a giant room? Well, if you see here, I have four and a half stacks of beehives. Yep. We are going to make a ginormous honey farm. And in order to do that, I, well, we need a lot of bees. So this is where we're going to breed up all of the bees for our ginormous honey farm. So the next several, several hours of my life, it's going to be spent um, breeding up a bunch of bees. I was worried about that. Uh, don't attack me, please. Thank you. I hope that one has bees in it. And now I'm just going to run around and breed up a whole bunch of bees. So this will take quite, and I do mean quite a long time. So I'm going to, you know, be here and I'll um I'll let you guys know when I'm done this is what I've been listening to for the last two days I'm I'm doing all right breathing breathing all right well this took a little bit longer a lot longer maybe than I than I expected. And um yeah. Our entire section in here is now filled with the uh, with beehives, which is pretty good. It means we have uh should have about four and a half stacks of uh beehives that each have three bees in them. Very good. Uh, these two are sitting here because these are actually extra. I need all of the ones that are around the outside. And these are the extra bees that I had at the end. So I did pretty good of only having four extra bees outside of our, our starting. Uh, well, I had five beehives here, but I moved one of them. And so I'm going to have to fill up. I think I need... What is this, 11 shulkers in order to fit all of these uh, beehives to carry them off to where we are going to build the uh, the honey farm. Um, the reason why I need 11 for the four and a half stacks of beehives is uh, they don't stack. So if I, if I break a few of these, you can see, yeah, they don't stack and they all have three bees. So I'm going to clean up all of the beehives here and start prepping for the uh, the giant honey farm. But I did do a build while I was here breeding up all of the bees because, well, yeah, there was too much buzzing going around. By the way, if you guys go into options, music, and sounds, which, um, which category do you think, uh, the the bee sound would be friendly creature maybe hostile creature maybe nope it's blocks <sighs> peace and quiet all right uh i did end up building that 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 field out here and I decided to fill it with wheat I think this turned out pretty pretty good um I did extend the retaining wall out that way a bit and on this side as well and then I did take one of the the beehives from inside of our our area and move it out here so I think this turned out really well I actually really like that whole area. I think if we added a few more fields throughout here, that would make this area uh, feel that much more like lived in and uh, part of our part of our area. 
So yeah, I am going to go and grab all of those beehives and we will head out to where we're going to build our giant bee farm or honey farm. All of the bees have now been packaged up and boxed off and prepared. And now we just need to figure out where we're going to build it. And well, I am not going to build it here with um, our other bee stuff or with our, our sheep. And in fact, we're not even going to build this in the overworld at all. That's right. We are going to head out to the end and we're going to build it out in the middle of the void. So let me uh, head on over there and we can uh, start prepping the area. Okay, I've made my way out here to the end. Let's see if we can do this without angering any endermen. I think the best place that we can put this farm is actually going to be at the other end of a end gateway like this. So we'll be way out in the void some well, we won't be in the void, but we'll be way out in that direction somewhere and we'll still have fairly quick and easy access to it because we can just uh, go through our stronghold, the end gateway from the stronghold. We'll be out here and we'll just have a short little travel uh, to the gateway. And then we can, we'll be out way out there where we won't have a whole lot of area loaded. We won't have a whole lot of uh, entities or, you know, mobs that uh, will cause any lag. Because uh, if I'm not careful about where we put this farm with the amount of bees that we that I'm gonna have we could have some issues with lag so before I uh, step through that gateway I actually need to do one thing no it wasn't killing you now that that distractions done what I what I'm going to end up doing is flying basically out to the outer islands without going through the gateway. And we're going to make a bridge back because our goal is to get the other side of this gateway to spawn out in the middle of the void instead of over end stone. So let me uh, fly all the way out there and then we can start working on uh, getting our gateway to spawn where we want. All right, I am way out here at the Outer End Islands now, and I went straight out from uh, our, the center of the island, basically through where the gateway was that we will take to get out to our new honey farm, which is going to take me out to right between these two chunks right here. So what I'm going to end up doing is building a bridge back towards the end island now, the main end island this way. And I'm going to span both of these two chunks until I get out about this far. Yeah, that was quite a long bridge. Now, the reason why I have the four end stone out here is because the end gateway won't generate unless it's above end stone. So I need to have a little bit of end stone out here in order for the gateway to spawn where we want. Now, if we do this right, we should have the gateway spawning above one of these four end stone, and they're each in a different chunk. So, fingers crossed, I will fly back to the main end island and go through the gateway, and we'll see if it generates out here. Otherwise, well, I did all this for nothing. All right, I have stared up to the gateway now, back on the main end island and uh assuming everything's gonna work just fine we should pop out on our leaf bridge way out in the middle of the void well we'll uh we'll give it a go look at that there's our gateway nice if i go into free cam yeah, look at that. We generated a gateway way out here in the middle of the void. So, now I guess it's, uh, it's time for me to start building that honey farm.
farm is uh, mostly built now. I have yet to actually put the hives in here, but everything else is done and ready. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this. This should be a pretty effective farm. Um, I don't want to grab a bunch of the beehives. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and I did do, I did do one more step between, uh, after I boxed all, all of the, the hives and some, from when I, until when I built the farm here. And that is, I actually went into the nether and I let all of the bees out of the hive so that they, they could escape. And then when they return back into the hives, there's like a two minute timer or a minute timer before they'll leave the hive again. And that's what I wanted to uh, essentially reset so that when I try to place the hives in their little spot in the farm, they won't escape and go everywhere and cause a whole bunch of headaches. So hopefully that is all right. So if I uh, grab some bees, beehives here, Oop. we'll grab some beehives and uh, well, they don't stack. So I'm going to have to... Get them all down onto my hot bar. There we go. All right, so I think we'll just start over here for now. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, so they did not escape while I was trying to put them in. So that is what I was really, really, really trying to ensure with the, the little uh, trick that I, I did earlier with the, with the hives. So now I'm going to run around and place uh, beehives in in all of the uh, all of the sections. But I think we should do a little uh, sky view here. My idea behind the farm was to make try to make it look a little bit like a, a honeycomb. But I think it kind of turned out more to look like a like almost like a circuit board or a, 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 some sort of computer component, which I'm kind of okay with. I think I think it uh, I think it turned out okay. So, let's see here. All right, so this line here, this is where we fill up glass bottles, and then that will distribute the glass bottles out across all of the item hoppers that'll go into the dispensers that'll end up harvesting the honey. And then that'll run and it'll go through a big loop across all of the hives here. And when it's done, it will... Um, this is the last hive that it comes across. It'll run up this track and it'll get broken. This is a, it's like an instant minecart unloader. And I found this design from Il Mango. So it'll be broken from the, the amethyst. Well, actually the minecart, this is with the mud block. It's like, it's not a full block. So it'll try to go down into the, the block a little bit. Then it actually will snap down to that that track down below that you can barely see, and there's lava in the cauldron, so the lava will actually break the minecart, and all of the items will flow out and across the uh, across the hoppers here. These first five are actually um, they're going to be honey blocks themselves, but then any leftover glass bottles from the run around the the beehives will come into this section here where we have a bunch of uh, bee or uh, glass bottle filters. Uh, and then we have a second hopper minecart track line that goes underneath all of the, all of the hives. So the hive is going to be sitting on top of the hopper. And when it gets bottled up from the dispenser, the bottle is going to be pulled down into the hopper. And when the, the minecart with chest that goes by, it, the minecart or the hopper is going to feed the bottle into the minecart. And that track goes all the way around and eventually goes up here, up this line, and across the top where it runs into that same minecart unloader. And then it gets run across the back where these chests get filled with honey bottles then. And then you can kind of see that there's some crafting benches back there with um, trap doors 
If I grab a chest. The idea is that I'm going to break chests like this in probably I'll, I'll probably do the entire uh, column. And so there'll be just be a whole bunch of honey bottles scattered around here. And then I'll be able to stand here, flip up a, a one of these uh, trap doors. And I'll be able to craft up all of the, the honey blocks that I need. And then the blocks and the empty glass bottles will end into the water stream. And that'll get pulled around here. It goes underneath the, the platform here and up. And then it'll go into the honey block storage. So yeah, this was a, a lot longer of a project than I was expecting. But I think, uh, think it'll turn out pretty well. So I have a whole bunch of uh, honey hives, beehives to place. And I will probably uh, let this farm run for a while. Because we still need some uh, some honey blocks for a future project that I'm working on. So, I think that'll probably do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>